Afternoon, YouTube. It's your boy Leon to cool. Welcome to my channel. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. And if you already are, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for even clicking on this video. I'm about to talk about with, with <laughs> week 15 movie. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The first movie from last year, right? From the MCU. It was a treat, y'all. It had good good enough humor as the first one but with more character development and a few steps back in some of it like rocket i don't know where he just became an asshole at the beginning of the movie which was like what is happening right now then it's got the kind of the same theme it had last time with, with the whole daddy issue situation that's peter quill played by chris pratt meets his father and his father ends up being an asshole kills his mother then the epic showdown happens you also got drax and mantis chemistry was hilarious drax laughed uh, laughter is infectious uh baby groot is adorable as hell a baby groot moment where he takes yandu's ravages symbol and talks about people and hats Oh, that part kills me all the time. This movie was a nice movie. Like, it was more connected to the Guardians world than the larger scale of the MCU. So, it would be a treat. It just makes you excited to see the Guardians more when it comes to Infinity Wars. It doesn't really make you think about Infinity Wars that much. It just makes you think think about the Guardians and how awesome they'll be in the Infinity Wars, you know what I'm saying? Yandu's Viking death was something else also. He got sent out uh, he got let out like Thor's mother in MCU. This is poetic in a sense. I mean like I really love this movie. I loved it last year. I love it now. It's not better than the first one, but it's good. Like it's great. Still got that MCU formula, and the four or five post-credit scenes were a delight because those credits were super long. And let's give it up for James Gunn, y'all. That dude can seamlessly make people work on blue screen, green screen, and make it seem like you're actually in a different planet. Like it's not that obvious keying. Like some movies seem to do, they can't key certain places correctly because he can do a real cool depth of view situation with the characters, with the visual style, like the planning in his movies is amazing. Like some of the shots even are crazy, especially those shots where let's say the spaceship has a hole and you go from the hole following a character and you move upstairs like some shots where you like ah this is the beauty of being a filmmaker still give this movie an 8 out of 5 uh, 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 is still an amazing movie I advise you to watch it if you haven't watched it if you haven't even done the road to infinity watch challenge what do you do with your life bro and then my deuces like and subscribe